What is up, everybody? You are watching On the Road with Peanut, and you can tell from the title uh, that I'm going to be talking about national carriers. I basically just want to give everybody just a, a quick, you know, review on what I think about working at national carriers, and that's really it. Um, if you like the video, subscribe. Um, yeah, that's really it. So. Um, a couple of the first things that I want to talk about as far as working here, I've been here for 10 months. So for me, it's been uh, a pretty good experience. I haven't worked anywhere else. They haven't given me a reason to go anywhere or look for a different job. And that's really important for me. Uh, that means that I must like the company. And so a couple of the things that I really like about the company, uh, number one, the people, I cannot speak higher of the uh, people that brought me onto the team, the recruiting, which is really significant. If you are looking for a truck, trucking company, you know, to go to work for, and you've talked to several companies, you know what it's like talking to some of these recruit, recruiters. They're very short with you. They don't really want to give you the information that you're asking for. And that was not my experience with national carriers at all. Actually, that was probably, it was the biggest selling point for me because they were very genuine, authentic. They were, they were honest with me. Everything that they told me was true. Uh, I never had to go back and say, yeah, but you told me this. Actually, it, it there were certain parts of what they told me that actually got better uh, once I actually got into the room uh, and was, was being brought onto the team. So uh, the recruiting team knocked it out of the park, five out of five for them. Uh, as far as the leadership, what's cool about um, national carriers is they are uh their entire team is actually in irving texas my apologies for the for the shaking video um the leadership team is in irving texas where you where you go to do your orientation and get your truck and and those types of things so at any point in time you could walk in and talk to them and they're, they're not weird about it. The president is there, the um, operations manager is there, uh, recruiting is there in Irving. Um, I think our our head maintenance guy is in Irving. So it's a it's a pretty good pretty good experience, you know, working for the company uh, and having having those people be available for you, readily available for you. I like that part of it. Uh, the other thing, another thing that I really like is the pay. The pay is amazing. Uh, in the last, I've been here 10 months and in the last four months, or uh, not four months, in the last six months, less than six months, there's been a four cent, two, two cent, so four cent total cent per mile raises that were dispersed uh, for the company company-wide for all drivers. And it's attributed to the fact that, the, as, you know, as they negotiate these contracts with shippers, um, the rates, they get more money and they distribute distribute that to the to the drivers, uh, which is really nice. So I really like, I like that they're, they're not greedy or stingy, you know, um, and they, they pay really well on stops. You, you do get paid stop pay, you get paid uh, detention pay, you get paid uh, obviously holiday time and, and time off, those types of things. Now, I'm not going to go too much into detail about, about what those numbers are. I'm going to do that in a different video. And, and actually in, in all of these things that I'm saying right now, I'm not really going to go too far into de detail, but just know that it's, uh, it's been good enough to keep me here. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's, that's my initial thoughts on it, on those things that I've mentioned already. Uh, couple of other things that I really like uh, the trucks you know the trucks are Kenworth trucks T680s um, and as far as the maintenance on the trucks they are they're on top of their game if there's a problem with the truck you you call breakdown breakdown will if it's a violation issue they're pulling you into a shop immediately um, and they they get it fixed actually you know from what from the way that I can what I can tell right now, Breakdown seems to have more authority over the drivers than 
than the dispatchers. You know, some companies, the dispatchers like, oh no, just keep running. We'll get you after the load is done. But it doesn't work that way here. Breakdown says, hey, we need to pull this guy in now. They pull him in the load that you have. They'll figure out how to repower it, get it under somebody else uh, so that you can get that truck fixed so that you don't catch a violation. They want you to be on the team. They want you to be there. And so you can't do that if you have violations, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah, the trucks, I think, are really good. As, as far as the dispatch, you know, I did mention them just now. I think I have the best dispatcher on the planet. I've read some horror stories online, and that is not my experience with my dispatcher. My dispatcher is awesome. If I have a problem, I reach out. They answer the phone. They know me. They know me by name. Um, yeah, I mean, I really like. I like. I like our dispatchers. Um, it seems to be that way with everybody. Um, with the other drivers that I've talked to about, you know, the dispatch, I, I like. Uh, and if you don't know, you know, national carriers. It, it used to be really big into, or what they were known for was. Um, being being a owner operator company, people knew who National Carriers was, uh, and they still kind of have that same vibe. They do treat the drivers with a, a very high level of respect, and um, I don't feel like I've been lied to by dispatchers to get me to do things that I shouldn't do, or you know, tight runs. Or obviously, you have tight runs in, in every business, every 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 company. But uh, the dispatch seems to be a little more honest and relaxed laid back they're not uh, I've, heard, I've just heard some really bad stories and it's not my experience here so um yeah i like the dispatch as far as my dislikes now here we go and it's it's really only one but uh and even then it's not really a dislike because they fix it so my my major dislike with national carriers is the planning sometimes you know you get stuck on these weird in these weird lanes where your miles end up being a little bit weird for a week, a um, little bit low at times. But you know, if you reach out to your dispatch, they do tend they they fix it. They will, uh, you know, you just reject the load and and they don't hold grudges. They're like, hey, yeah, this didn't make sense that there weren't enough miles on this guy's uh, week, and we need to give him something different. So they do fix it. But it seems like the, the planners would be a little more forward thinking, you know, looking at the driver's hours and seeing what kind of schedule they're on and okay does this guy sleep during the day does he sleep at nighttime um and they 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 do they do try to do that but it doesn't happen all the time you just have to say something see something say something you just say something right so i do like that they fix those problems pretty quick um yeah i mean i my overall impression of national carriers so far in the last 10 months almost a year great company I'm averaging over 2,500 miles a week, get paid really well. I'm treated great. I like the company. So um, yeah, that's really all I wanted to say. If you guys like the video, be sure to subscribe. I'm gonna be putting out some more videos on national carriers and uh, really, really just my, uh, my adventures out here on the road. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.